Okay, today we're going to take a look at using Turbo Graphics to add detail to a 3D scene. First, let's bring up the Turbo Graphics main menu. Okay, let's go ahead and add an image. Uh, today we're going to be making a potted plant. So let's go ahead and grab the pot for the plant, import it. Uh, add the other elements as well. There's going to be a branch. And finally, we're going to need a leaf. Okay, once we've got these guys imported, let's use the move tool and move them into position so we get a better look. Or uh, we get them arranged better so it looks more like a potted plant, not just a collection of images. Okay, we can zoom in here and make sure it looks good. All right, that looks pretty good. All right. So once we have that set up, let's go ahead and choose the pivots on our objects. Okay, the pivot tool here in TurboGrafx simply uh, is going to select where the pivot will appear once it's been imported into Maya to make rotation, scaling, and so forth much easier animation and whatnot. Okay, adjust the pivot on the branch here, make sure it's centered on the branch. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to use the grid tool to change the tessellation of our images. You see the leaf is already plenty tessellated, that'll be good for manipulating later. Uh, now we're going to take the pot, it doesn't need to be so tessellated, so we're going to reduce that. The stick, we're not really going to be warping that at all, so let's go ahead and take the tessellation completely off of there. Alright, tessellation looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and process these images into optimized textures and geometry. Let's give the, uh, the build a name, potted plant, and hit process. Okay, now take the process data and create, convert it into a model. And that's what we just did. All right, so now you can see our objects are now inside uh, Maya at the origin. Go ahead and select them, and you'll see the same tessellation that you picked or here's a picture of the texture. It's going to all combined onto one texture. Uh, okay. And now let's go ahead and warp this leaf with the soft mod tool so uh, it has a little more depth to it, a little more 3D look and feel to it. It'll give a better illusion when we're uh, actually having the plant appear more as a 3D object. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take the vertices once we've soft modded it and we're going to move it back toward uh, the x-axis or, or center it on the z <clears throat> so, uh, so the pivot point is in the proper location. Alright, let's go ahead and move it onto the branch. Okay, you can see the leaf already is looking like it has a little bit more depth to it, but we still need a couple more leaves. So <laughs> let's duplicate three more leaves and move them into position. All right, now we have the leaves. Uh, we should probably rotate these guys so it actually has a more natural appearance. Now, another use of turbo graphics that I'm not showing in this video is it's also good for animating objects. Now this plant won't be animated, but you can kind of get the idea of how having multiple different images and stringing them together in this way can produce interesting uh, animated 2D, 3D objects. OK, 
Okay, let's move these leaves around a little bit more. Now you'll notice that the uh, that the leaves look 3D, <clears throat> but the the branch and the pot do not. We'll take care of that in a little bit. Let's just make some final adjustments here and get these uh, leaves into position. Try to get them a good natural look. Okay, they're kind of spaced out a bit, so let's go ahead and put them together a little bit so it looks a little more natural. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that branch in that pot now. And go ahead and select them and parent them together. So the pot is the parent. Let's go ahead and use uh, a shortcut for billboarding and apply cylindrical billboarding from the Turbo Graphics menu. And now you can see that the plant, uh, or sorry, the, the pot and the branch always face the camera. So this will be good and this gives much more a uh, better illusion of a 3D object. Okay, let's go ahead and select the object and move it into place. Put it up between these two columns over here. Let me make sure that guy's centered. All right. <clears throat> now you can see that the plant actually does have a good 3D look to it. And as we zoom about without a close inspection, it really does seem to be a modeled 3D object. Turbo Graphics is great for adding little details like this to your scene. So why hand model something very complex when you really don't need to? And you can get the same effect with a couple images. I hope that you found the video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.